Hi everybody, this is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com and what we're going to do today is show you how to use your iPad to ink on a desktop or notebook computer. Basically what you do is you want to use a program called Jump Desktop which is, comes from the same makers uh, of the software Evernote and uh, when you do that you're going to at first what you have to do is install the program on your computer and then you can also install it on your iPad app or iPad here and add that computer using the plus button and uh, when that happens or it'll show up automatically also what you need to have on your computer is the program write pen which is a software that allows you to ink anywhere on a Windows uh, computer either on the desktop or inside applications you don't need to use the uh, the tablet PC pen entry tool that comes with Windows you can use uh, write pad uh, write pen anywhere you want now once we get here what we want to do is select our computer it'll automatically log in and we will see the little puff of smoke which means it's about time there to log on and there what you can see is a basic desktop this is the desktop uh, app part of my uh, my uh, Lenovo desktop computer it has this toolbar up here you can open up or close the keyboard on either side there's the settings and um, that tool will give you the full screen. Now one problem with Jump Desktop is uh, I've just started using this. I haven't figured out yet how to switch. I have a dual monitor system, uh, but that's a minor problem. Now you can hide the toolbar there. And Now you notice on my desktop system up here I've got the right pen toolbar showing. You select, make sure the pen is selected and there what you can do then is start to enter information anywhere. Now I'll click on the start button click right there. What I want to do, let's say I want to open Word. Now I know I've got a, an icon uh, down here in the toolbar, but let's say I didn't. Notice it works fairly smoothly and it'll put the Word over here and it shows up this little menu which gives you an option to uh, select, let's say you accidentally spelled it wrong. But notice uh, up here the start menu, it searched for and found the link to Word, so now we're in Word. What I can begin doing if I want to start entering information, maybe I'm better at pen entry than typing. And so this gives me the uh, chance to do so, the ability to do so. Pause for just a second and notice it has entered it just perfectly. Now of course it does give you this menu in case it didn't, but you can quickly hide that. Now you have to learn certain things, like first of all, for instance, a backspace is a line just like that. If you want to add a space, you do one of those. We'll go back, and then if a carriage return or enter command is a line like that. So, so now we are on our next line. We can enter the word notebooks, and you can write in cursive, and it will recognize it fairly well see how it does. See it did it perfectly. Notebooks. Now it's automatically going to enter that spot at the end and doing things like a, a decimal or a period it's a little bit difficult. If you just tap once you'll get it. Uh, it may not work too well. So then what you have to do in order to get that is enter symbols. Click here. We want the period. Uh, For someone who's much better at this, you're going to have a lot better time with it. With a lot of practice, you'll get a lot better at it. I'm out of practice. I haven't been using a tablet PC in quite some time. Uh, I gave my wife my tablet PC when I got my iPad. Uh, notice that it has entered it well. Uh, is this a perfect solution? No, it's not perfect. It's a little bit slow, sometimes laggy, but it is a solution. It makes it possible for you to do so. So uh, if you wanted to be able to ink on your computer but you didn't have a tablet, uh, you could use this as a, a one solution. By the way, I have tried this and it does work um, through the internet and so you could do it uh, through the internet at home. But I just wanted to show this to you. I'll write up the how-to and the steps and everything uh, on an article on notebooks.com. This has been Kevin Purcell. Thank you for watching.